Sermon 183 of Nachtoblaga Praises God Beyond Senses Beyond Illusion and Illusion Beyond Injustice Beyond Size We ask the Blessing on Prophet Muhammad, upon his lineage. Islam will have lasting light. A lasting guiding rope. And the sermon continues talking about how our senses and our conclusions might be impure, but they can be made whole. The various types of animals remind us that we do have to make effort towards our livelihood. And it reminds us of the wonder of the Creator that would do such. We see various actions and reactions and the necessary features or abilities among these animals. And the animals, of course, can limit what the humans do or impact what the humans are upon. God knows all these things, knows what's best for the earth as a whole. And of course, we're not seeing any indication in Islam that what the humans are doing nowadays is acceptable. You know, we do have to take care of our environment, you know. Um, saying 389. reminds us that our ancestry isn't going to make a difference in the ultimate sense if our deeds have stifled us and we can't claim the enlightenment, the deeds of our ancestors. We can speak well of them and that might count for something, but you know, we can't rely vicariously on such things. Saying 390 reminds us that we do have our contact, which is the meaning of the term. Also, like in other Semitic languages, that root slot means that you know you stand in one place, you recite certain things, you make certain gestures. You know, it's it's known even without context um, what type of prayer that would be, but it's a direct contact with God, and another period of time is when we're engaged in the business in the business and whatever in terms of maintaining our bodies and all that. Now this can be done according to the principles that God has laid down. This can be done in remembrance of God. Um, there can be supplications before or after or during some of these things. Um, now you don't chant in the bathroom or something, but you know, um, definitely even that is, is, can be, you know, a supplication beforehand and afterhand and all that sort of stuff. And otherwise, everybody has some sort of free time, so um, again, that can be 
according to what is lawful and wholesome, as the phrase goes. And it's not wise to just wander away from home. Like, I, I, I can think of people that don't take care of their homes because they spend too much time away from their homes and they spend money and all that other stuff. And so going, if you're not making your, um, leaving your home about these three th categories, don't do it. Saying 391 reminds us to abstain from the mere worldly things. And if we do that, then we're going to realize more about the evil involved in these things.